tell you, say, you get something where they freak me from the way you ah, they present. How you they speak pigeon English? Now your posture. Wow. Hey, the one way they kill me pass now your laugh. <laughs> it's your laugh person face to face. That person fit commit suicide. Oh, I lie. <laughs> your laugh they make me laugh. Laugh not be small. Wow. Kudos to you, my oga. More grease to your elbows. Hey. Help me tell Tomato just say I dream say I go chalk cream for her hand. Uh -huh. Well done, my people. Uh -huh. One love. Hey, ha! thank you, my man. You see my know? pigeon. Your pigeon is ha! good, though. Ha! Ha! Doing and it's Kakrodine from Rwanda, Mur Africa, and I'm in New York City. I'm here to introduce to you Dr. Njakali Damaji. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damaji. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York. Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that we have joined the people. Our mayor now joined the voodoo worshippers. What? Oh yes. Oh yes. Bye. We are worshiping Juju in New York City. Wow. Yeah, it happened. It happened. I knew it would happen, being that that, that man is married to an African woman. Okay, 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 okay. African-American, if you want to be politically correct. Yeah, but this week, Mayor Bill de Blasio joined the people of Pennsylvania in listening to a rat tell us when winter will end. Every February, a rat comes out from its hole to tell gullible Americans when winter will come to an end. Yeah, yeah. The rat knows this by checking if it can see its shadow. Okay. <laughs> now, here is what happened when Bill de Blasio tried to, to do that this week. Watch. He suggest, uh, he says uh, that, uh, that he... Uh... <laughs> the rat almost beat him. <laughs> now, now, now. And they said Americans don't believe in Juju. They do. They do. Now, talking about voodoo, 90 year old president of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, last week became the chairman of African Union. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Young African presidents in their 70s and 80s, you know, those, those ones, allowed Mugabe to be the leader of Africa because, because the man made them look young. <laughs> he was so excited to tell the story to his own people when he got home that he missed a step and fell flat. He, he, oh, I think I'm making it up. Watch. Ah, yeah, the one fell. <laughs> now, now, beside, beside, besides that, uh, everything was going well last week for me. My New England Patriots, they won the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. In the last 20 seconds of the game, they won it. Clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal. You see? Now, uh, Serena Williams won the Australian Open. Yes! Again, second second service ace. Yes. yes! Everything was going well. Yeah! Just Woo. when I was waiting for the, uh, the unveiling of this Sports Illustrated swimsuit model, uh -huh. those ISIS guys, they did something horrible. Yeah. They burnt a captured Jordanian fighter uh -huh. pilot alive. Yeah! Terrible! Wow. The people of Jordan, we're so mad, including the king. Mm. Yeah, King Abdullah, who is a fighter pilot. Mm -hmm. He did something that got the whole world clapping for him. He personally jumped into F-16 fighter jets. Personally? Yeah, to attack ISIS positions in Iraq and Syria. Wow. Now, now, on hearing that, President Good Lord Jonathan, who is a zoologist, uh -huh. decided to go and take zoo animals, <laughs> like uh, the lion and crocodile. <laughs> Into Sandisa Forest to fight Boko Haram. <laughs> yeah, there were efforts last week to cancel the election. Yeah. Protesters at one point stormed INEC office demanding the postponement of the Saturday's election. What? They have a reason. Their reason was that they said that they saw the gate of hell open. <laughs> we said, no, you are dreaming. You have uh, something like malaria or something. Now, President Gulo Jonathan took the case to the Council of State meeting. Last year, last week, despite assurances by IBB, Ibrahim Babangida, that he will support the pre president on the postponement, when he got time to speak up, IBB denied his son, Jonathan, three times. 
<laughs> three times. Now, I wish there is a way to order all the children of every politician running for office and all their party leaders to return to Nigeria for the election. Hey! Yeah, because they are not there. That may make them to pay more attention to what the likes of Asari Dokubo are saying. Hmm. Do you know Asari Dokubo? General Buari cannot control his dogs. We're appealing to them to stop the violence. Because if they don't, for every action, there will be opposite and equal reaction. I'm sure Asari Dokubo has not visited northeast of Nigeria recently. If he has, and if he has seen foreign forces landing on Nigerian soil to help fight Boko Haram, he will know that President Goodluck Jonathan ah. can achieve the same thing in Niger Delta. Of course! Yes, the same thing can be going on there. But that man doesn't know. Anyway, everybody who is somebody had endorsed their candidate of choice. Mm. Oh yeah, the Christian Association of Nigeria and all the rich pastors are behind President Goodluck Jonathan. Hey! Mm -hmm. Adebo Ye, Oriso Jaffo, the trinity of Nigeria's Christian dom. They're all in Jonathan's camp. <laughs> now, that is not surprising, you know, considering that they have been getting import waivers for so long. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Those Rolls Royce that you see them drive, they didn't pay tariff when they imported them. <laughs> but beyond, beyond that, beyond that, we heard that the PDP gave them six billion naira. What? Okay, okay, I know, I know. Six the, billion? Six, the story came from Governor Amechi's mouth. And it, what it means is that we have to cross check it before we publish. Uh, <laughs> check it and check it again before we publish it. But if pastors have not been receiving money from politicians, why would Reverend Father Mbaka say that he will return the money he got? What? He, was say, he said it, give me the bank account, I will return your money. <laughs> oh, oh, you think I'm making it up? Watch the man of God say it with his own mouth. What? Yes, oh, watch. If you want your money back, they give me the account number. I will wire it back to you and leave me to remain a prophet of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Mm. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm saying? You know? Wow. Now, the man went on even deeper. He said some deeper things. Watch. Why should he say What is Ego waiting. Am I a hungry priest? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. He's talking about wow. licking politicians behind and stuff like that. Wow. Very deep. I can't, I can't translate it for you all. <laughs> wow. no. What is surprising in the whole pastor's involvement in politics was seeing Jesus Christ himself come on NTA to endorse President Goodluck Jonathan. What? This, no. this was on no. NTA, Nigerian Television Authority. No the PDP brought Jesus out to do that. Look, look at that picture well. Look at the picture well. Eh? Look at that picture. What did you see? With a frown face, Jesus raised the hand of Jonathan and said, This is my beloved son, <laughs> in whom I'm deeply disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Professor Wole Shoyinka delivered a big blow hmm. to President Goodluck Jonathan when he felt endorsed the man. The Nobel Prize laureate said the following to a gathering of students in Lagos. Mm -hmm. I will not encourage anyone to vote for this man. I will not vote for the man myself. I will not vote for the continuity of this hey! government. Wow. PDP, they had a simple reaction to Professor Wole Shoyinka. They told Shoyinka, look, we know you made that class at the University of Ibada. Hmm. So we won't even ask you for, we can't come below to ask you for your certificate. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Wow. Now, now, the magazine, The London Economist, mm. came out to also endorse General Buhari. They yeah, they did. Yeah. But it wasn't even the endorsement that was shocking. After all, we know that the magazine is an APC magazine. Wow. Yeah, really? with, with reporters who are Boko Haram sympathizers. We know that. Know. We know that. Yeah. Really? What was shocking was, wow. was that they had the audacity to call President Jonathan a failed president. Now, how could they say that about our first PhD president? Hey, yeah. Now, even if, even if he failed, haven't they had this African saying that when you fail a class, you must repeat? Hey. The president, <laughs> he needs to repeat oh. if he failed. Hey. Yeah. Anyway.
thank God, in the last days of the campaign, Vice President Namido Sambo, you know him? He came out swinging. He accused the APC of being a Christian party, planning to convert everyone in Nigeria into Christianity. Oh yeah, he did. He even pointed out that Buhari's Vice President, Professor, what's his name? Osibanjo. That he belongs to a church whose sole aim is to make sure that there is a branch of their church on every street in Nigeria. Hey. Just like Starbucks, you see. <laughs> hey. That's their plan. That, the man said that is their plan. Here is Vice President Sambo talking about the dangerous plan of APC to Christianize Nigeria. Watch. <laughs> You don't have to do that. I get you a chairman, don't want to be DP Muslimini. Haga Kuma, Director General, not campaign, don't want Muslimini. Haga Kuma, Nikaina, Namadina, 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 Sambo Muslimini, Nima. The man said it, yeah. I didn't know the man. I didn't know the man could talk. <laughs> Seriously, he, he, I didn't know he could. He should speak more. We may even find something to remember him for after May 29th. <laughs> I know many of you. Many of you have asked me, Doctor, Doctor, who should we vote for? Eh? Who should we vote for? What is the difference between APC and PDP? Well, well, I went all the way to Asaba, Delta State, to bring you this articulation of the difference. Watch. Why are the APC telling us about change? Are we going to change from analog to analog? The now is digital. We are no more going to analog. We are moving to digital. We are already in digital, uh -huh. not analog. So we are not moving back. <laughs> I know. Chai. Chai. I will miss this woman. No. Chai. I will miss this woman after May 29. Who will make us laugh like she does? Who? Here is Mama Peace. Here is Mama Peace singing her hit song, God Will Open the Gate of Heaven for Jonathan. Watch. God open the door, the door of Vila. Open the door for Jonathan to enter. Open the door. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure the folks at the Grammys, they are now regretting not inviting her to wow. perform. They are regretting. Ah. Anyway, so finally, the forensic audit of the NMPC and the missing $20 billion. Yeah, you don't have to thank me for keeping God Baby's feet on fire. I did it week after week, week after week, until she was forced to force them to bring out the reports. Yeah. Now, 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 did you notice that Ngobebi was not there when the auditors handed the report to the president? Yeah. It wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. It was part of the plan. Mm. She wanted to set up President Good Lord Jonathan. Mm. Now, looking at that picture, everyone now knows whom to blame. Hey. If, if nothing is hard about these reports. If you wow. go to Ngo Baby to ask her questions about the missing $20 billion, uh -huh. she will say this to you. Don't blame me. Uh, blame the president. Yeah? You saw them giving him the report. Yeah? You know he is slow in reading and uh, even slower in acting. <laughs> ah. Why President Goodlord Jonathan is still reading the preface of the reports? Mm -hmm. Premium Times, I don't know how they did that. They are reporting that the auditor said $1.49 billion huh. is unaccounted for. Shy. And I'm like, 1.49 only? <laughs> and that was exactly the, the, the reaction of Ngo Baby mm -hmm. and the Zia Nialis in wow. Now, Now, watching girls and girls, how she, she took it. Watch. <laughs> Now, now, look at the Zia and Alice in Madeke, her own reaction. <laughs> they, they had 
happy. They're happy. In fact, the Z analysis Madeke put her hand in her $10,000 handbag. And she said, I can refund you all this money right now and with interest. <laughs> now, how long do you think it will take President Goodluck Jonathan to act on this, uh, all these reports? How long? I don't even know. Some said four weeks, you know, others said eternity. <laughs> but in the next few days, Jonathan will have to choose the person to throw under the bus. Okay. Is it going to be Desiane Alice Madeke or Ngo Baby? No, my guess is that uh, he will keep uh, the sweet Brent, you know. <laughs> he, he will keep that one. <laughs> In Boko Haram news, did you guys read the report that the army last week surrounded 6,000 Boko Haram fighters in Borno? Did, right. did you read that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> did you notice that all the Boko Haram newspapers did not publish that story? The they, all the papers, papers that the Boko Haram, they kept quiet. Yeah, like your own paper. Like your, your own paper, yeah. <laughs> army, the army people said that 6,000 Boko Haram fighters were negotiating surrender after they were surrounded. Wow. I'm like, surrender? Is it that the army did not have uh, 6,000 bullets or what? <laughs> what is the problem? Why are they negotiating surrender? Anyway. Wow. In medical news, I'm sure you've heard the news. Measles is back in America. I know. Mm -hmm. American kids are now rubbing a calamine lotion on their bodies. You know, know that white thing you rub when you have measles. Measles came back to America because some educated parents are refusing to vaccinate their children. They say that the vaccines causes or that a disorders. Of course eh? Let, let's, let's watch a doctor who is also a senator to see what he thinks about this. Watch. I've heard of many tragic cases of walking, talking, normal children who wound up with profound mental disorders after vaccines. I'm not <laughs> you know what? He said, he said it causes mental illness. He said, doctor, now, Africans are now the ones praying for American children. Yeah? Watch them. When you look at that, my nation, what are you seeing? What are you seeing? What are you seeing? <laughs> look, I at you. <laughs> uh, they are praying for American children. <laughs> what are you seeing? What are you seeing? <laughs> this is a segment we call Secrets of... Based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand. Wow. Now, the first picture you're looking at is that of a 67-year-old former governor of Kogi State, Abubakar Audo, and his wow. young wife. Some people say that is the 12th wife. Wow. Yeah, in this picture you're looking at, the 18-year-old undergraduate is kissing this old man. Wow. Now, what many people didn't like is seeing an old man in a public display of affection. Wow. Some male commentators totally ignore the moral issue here. And they were lamenting that this grandpa, Abubaka Audu, is doing better than they are in women matter, you know? <laughs> Terrible. Now, the second picture you're looking at is the picture of President Goodluck Jonathan receiving makeup for a TV interview. What? Now, people are saying that the president was being given a makeup before a photo shoot or a TV interview. I don't think so. <laughs> that may be, that may not be true. Mm. Eh? What I think, this may be a part of a practice run, you know what I mean? Mm. What if... He's trying a series of disguises, you know, makeup that he could use to escape from Muscle Rock after May, after May 29th. You, you have to think, you have to think, people. Think. That could be what's happening. You know, make, put on wig and... <laughs> what are you trying to say? I love this. Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. I will do better. In my second term, if re-elected, says President Good Lord Jonathan. <laughs> Everybody was laughing when they heard this one. Okay. I will do better if re-elected. Uh, you know, you know, it's the same thing that all convicted criminals, before you shoot them during the execution, they always say, we will do better if you can free us. <laughs> if you can free us. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. <laughs> I am still PDP member, says Governor Lamido. <laughs> You know, you know, the guy, the guy's plan is this. Until midnight of February 13th, 2015, that is when he will bring out his, uh, draw out his knife, his dagger. That's, that's when he will move. <laughs> but for now, he's still PDP. <laughs> I 
I have fulfilled all my promises, says present good Lord Jonathan. <laughs> now, 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 this man, who tells this man to say things like this? Hmm? I, I thank him, though, because he helps me to write Dr. Damage's script. You don't, you, don't, you don't have to make it up. He says it. I, all his promises. The Niger Bridge. Yeah, the Niger Bridge, the drawing of the Niger Bridge. Anyway. 350 billion naira spent on southwest roads says the minister do you know the road they call southwest 360 billion that's billion. that's like three billion dollars are they talking about the road from south africa to west africa what, what road are they talking about eh? Maybe within oh. nigeria Maybe oh. terrible <laughs> <Subway system. laughs> it's terrible uh, a bridge and subway god help us why I donated my life savings to Buhari? Hey, uh, yeah. That's a KB, KB uh, grandma who was speaking. She donated her life savings, 500,000 naira to Buhari. Isn't that sweet? Wow. It's sweet. And this is what they call the triumph of hope over experience. Wow. <laughs> uh, subsidy on petrol, now one naira, 23 kobo per liter. Did you wow. guys see that? You see, these people are still doing, they are deceiving themselves. Why, why they think they are deceiving Nigerians? Yeah, yeah that's what they're doing, deceiving themselves. PDP steals 100 naira for every liter of kerosene sold, wow. says the governor, governor of Edo State, yeah, Adam Osh wow. Oshimole. 100 naira for every liter of kerosene sold. Wow. Now, Wow. This, that is the worst kind of stealing, stealing from the poor to pamper the rich. Basically. Yeah, because poor people are the ones using kerosene. Oh, Jonathan doesn't know what kerosene is. <laughs> anyway. Over 30 trillion stolen under Okonjo Iwela, says nice. Soludo. 30, 30 trillion. Come on, come yeah. on. Eh? If that is true, America will know. Eh? If that is true, America will know. Unless the yeah. money, the money is dumped inside the American banks, then they will, they won't know. They, they, they won't have any idea. They will be like, ah, oh, we don't, we don't. I don't know about that. I, I don't know about that. Presidential poll: How Jonathan will beat Buhari in the north? Says PDP. <laughs> someone, someone needs a liver queen or something. The man, the man who said this has malaria. I'm sure. I'm, I'm, sure. A, I'm a doctor. I'm sure. <laughs> Buhari's supporters are silly and unrealistic, yeah. says uh, etc. You know the guy? Mm. He writes a call. I don't know who he is, but I've heard this said before. Where did I hear this? Something like this. Oh, they used the same thing on Obama supporters in 2008. They said the same thing, that they were silly and unrealistic. <laughs> Obasanjo laid the foundation for corruption in Nigeria, mm. says University Dawn. Mm. My question is this, if that is true, what did Babangida do? Was he the one that mixed the cement that they used to, to build the foundation? <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, Obasanjo laid the foundation. Who, he mixed the cement or something. Anyway. Concrete. Concrete. <laughs> I sacrificed my presidential ambition for Buhari, says Bola <laughs> This man doesn't get it. Eh? Not in this life or in the one to come will he smell the presidency. He doesn't get it. You should concentrate with uh, that thing he smokes. What is that again? <laughs> <laughs> PDP pushed me out because I am a Christian, says Labram Maku. <laughs> you know the guy, former minister for information. Uh, uh, Maku, Maku, you are a Christian for mouth. Don't let Oyedepo sit. Hear you say something like that. He will open the gate of hell for, for, for you and push you in. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm a Christian. Look at your mouth. It's time for email. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your email. What happened? Where's the uniform? Doctor, I'm feeling very ah. sick, so. You are sick and you work in a doctor's I, office. Uh, you, you didn't tell me to give I you a prescription. I should wear the patient's or, uh, uniform. Huh? Uh. I give you, I give you medication and you'll be well immediately. We have social medication for people who work well, for the doctor. But after the emails, after this, uh, I, Are you sure it's not measles? You don't have measles? Measles where? Uh, I live in New York, not uh, New Jersey. Okay, all right, ah. all right. Let's, let, I can ah. give you injection, too. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Okay, let's, let's I don't take it. injections. 
<laughs> CC. Let's hear the questions. Okay. <laughs> Our first email is from TJ. He Ooh. writes, TJ, tomato juice. Are you trying to play? <laughs> hey. no, TJ is my buddy. Uh, I'm okay. sure. Uh, Hello, Dr. D. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I wrote this email to urge you, doctor, to please diagnose my fellow Nigerians about the upcoming election. I want you to tell us who we shall vote for based on quality. Shall I vote for him because he's from my region? Shall I vote for him because he's Muslim or Christian? Or shall I vote for him because he gave me um, a small sack of rice? Or shall I vote for him because of what? For what? Oh, yeah. It's time for you, doctor, to diagnose common Nigerians. TJ, TJ, thank you very much. Here is the thing. Eh? Hmm. The only person who has the right to tell you who to vote for mm -hmm. is the man who gets 10% of your salary. Hey! Yes. If you don't hand over to him the tithe at the end of every week, every month, hmm. don't listen to his advice. <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's how I say it. What I'm saying in essence is that the right choice is the one that you make yourself. Hmm. Next. Okay. Our second email is from the foot in Montreal, yeah. Canada. He writes, Hey, doctor, I do not like the manner in which you address... No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried to play I, it up. I, I wanted to say <laughs> I do like the manner in which you address these issues going on in Africa. Nigeria for the most. These things we should be crying about. Things that contribute heavily on the consequences of not progressing. Mm. I am so much interested on what is going on in Nigeria because my favorite artist, Felakuti, is from this country. Ooh. When I read his story and I see the Nigerian society today, hmm, I feel these great men who had a vision for the masses for the most to end up never listening to them. I wonder how this will last. Hope oh. the youth will learn from today's mistakes. Thank you, my friend. Mm. Thank you so much. This uprising will bring out the beast in us. Kesi hey. Keke. Hey. hey! My argument. Hey. So you will be right. You're right. Keep, keep telling them. Next. Okay. Our third email is from Christiana in America. America. She writes, okay. America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dear Dr. Damages, the Niger Delta militant leader, Asari Dogupo, has been making terrorist threats against Nigeria if good luck Jonathan doesn't win the 2015 election. Why is it that he continues to talk anyhow and no one is arresting him? If it was in America, he would have been arrested an hour after he made such statements. But Nigeria is just letting him walk freely. Dr. Damages, what is your take on Dokupo and his evil terrorist threat against our beloved nation? Uh, Thank you. Christiana, Christiana, the president <laughs> said it himself. He, he said, if I put all corrupt people in jail, hmm. it won't stop corruption. Eh? So the same way, he, if he must put, he, he's determined hmm. that it, if he should arrest Asari Dokubo hmm. for his threats, it hmm. will not stop Boko Haram. Hmm. That's why he just cannot wow. help it. You know what I mean? The man, the man has advanced thinking skill. So we have to see what we can do to get him to our level. <laughs> so that he can understand what we are feeling. Next! Oh, okay, our fourth email is from Talk is Free. Oh, yeah, yeah. He writes, this is my first time writing. Oh, we like all this. Introdonkowa, my name... Uh, uh, Introdonkowa? <laughs> Introdonkowa! Nah, he's, he's introducing My name himself. is Talk is Free, like freedom of expression. Wow. That is why I love you with egg. Other girl, Adiola, with tomato licious, tomato hey. juice, keep it up. This is for Jonathan to answer why he is not speaking pidgin English instead of broken English, causing a lot of embarrassment for we Niger people. Mm. Like, seriously, is he what he claims to be, doctor? Or is it that kind of animal's uh, way of talking as a zoologist? Uh, zoologist. Uh. Am I saying it right? Yeah, zoologist. Hey, yeah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> he should go back to the zoo, please. Uh, he does not have leadership quality at all. Hey, hey. hey. talk is free. Why I <laughs> I do not encourage people making mockery of our president. Mm -mm, of course not. <laughs> I don't do that. Mm -mm. I don't do that. I like I like your point. The idea that the president maybe should be speaking pidgin English. Hmm. Maybe maybe if if we had put it on. Um, on the table, the two of these candidates <laughs> will have uh, agreed to debate. Maybe it's this English that is the cause of this problem. Huh? Because I, the, know. I know the man, he can't be fishing in English. He's in pigeon English. <laughs> he used to be a fisherman. You know, he might. <gasps> that may be the problem. Imagine, huh? he will have gone far. Hmm. Next! Wow. 
Our fifth email is, is from Lewuga Benson. He writes, Hello, doctor. You are a real doctor, right? Ah, why not? Right? I got my stethoscope. <laughs> he says, Someone who can cure social delinquents and political buffooneries hey. stationed in Nigeria, right? Oh, yeah. Anything. If not, I guess I'll be forever sickened by ill politicking <laughs> because you are my last hope. Oh. First of all, myself and my family love your show. The reporting aspect of it brings us closer together every time we watch it. However, uh -uh. the actual... <laughs> Once you hear however, it's not good. Bad. <laughs> not good. <laughs> However, the actual political dysfunctionality <laughs> and regional idiocracy Ooh. that you highlight so eloquently tears us apart oh. and leaves us wondering, is there a God? <laughs> With that said, our question is, why does our president, Gulag Jonathan, Whenever he's speaking, sound as if his woman is in disguise. Hey. <laughs> For Christ's sake, talk like a man. At least someone who's in command. Eh? What is your name? Lewuga. Hey! hey. You are speaking some languages. My, my friend, oh. you, you like trouble. Eh? You like hey. trouble. That mm. is what it is. Eh? You cannot mm. have two women in a family. These days, the man is not the one who wears the trouser. Mm. Eh? It, could be, it could be the one who wears the skirt. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Eh? You can have two, 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 two men in a family. A man in a skirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next. Okay. Our sixth email is from Nana Okori, Father Father in Dakar, Senegal. He writes, Hello, doctor. Every job well done has its rewards. First, thank you for diagnosing. I have healed myself. But, doctor, there are some damages on my political acumen. Charity begins at home, they say. But why do you keep us waiting? and went to my enemies, BBC. I caught you red-handed on Monday when the battle line were drawn between Sister Buhari and Brother Joe. Just because of milk and bread, PDP gave pastor six billion naira to campaign against Buhari, according to Amechi. Mm -hmm. Can you ask him how much APC gave to the shrine in Enugu? <laughs> <laughs> Tomato Joss, I wish you every good thing you desire. Yeah. Oh, but doctor, along the same line, mm. Chioma in London wrote, Dr. Damages, you are now a celebrity, uh, more popular than Jonah. Uh, you are now on BBC going places. Please, I need you to autograph something uh, for me. Uh -huh. He I wants you to like send that. it. I like that. Send it. I like that. Mm. Now, now, you know, you know, um, uh, this BBC thing, it's just, just what it is. You know, it's not a big thing. Just yeah. what it is. Oh, please. Since it happened, <laughs> I've been getting a lot of proposals from agents, uh, lawyers, eh. accountants. Eh. Uh, but, but the ones that are impressive, the ones that impressed me were women. Hmm. They were insisting that, you know, they said they don't even, they don't want to replace Mamudoka. Hmm. They said they want to be the 12th wife, the 13th wife. <laughs> you know, if that is the spot that is open, they are willing. So, fear qua. so ah. I, I'm talking to Mamudoka. She's narrowing down the list. We'll talk about that mm -hmm. next. Next. Okay, our final email is from Ijiga. He writes, Well done, doctor. I've been Niger guy with a school for South Africa. Ah. I just say, make I tell you, say, your show too makes sense. Uh -huh. You don't contribute to the growth of our fatherland with this, your show. Why mm. lie? Thank you. It will make our government no say, no be mumu, them they lead again. But now enlighten people. I won't tell you, say, you get something where they freak me from the way you uh -huh. they present. How you speak pigeon English? Now your posture. Wow. Hey, the one way they kill me past now your laugh. <laughs> if your laugh person face to face. That person fit commit suicide. Oh, I lie. <laughs> <laughs> Your laugh, they make me laugh. Laugh, not be small. Wow. Kudos to yeah, you, good. my yoga. More grease to your elbows. Hey. Help me tell Tomato just say I dream say I go chalk cream for her hand. Uh -huh. Well done, my people. Uh -huh. One love. Hey, ha! thank you, my man. You see I, my you, pigeon. Your eh? pigeon is good, though. Ah. <laughs> 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 man, we, we appreciate you a lot. Eh? <laughs> About that, your dream. Anyway, let me not spoil it for you. Eh? Hold on to it. Uh, like our G G O the ah. General Overseer used ah. to say, hmm? you are because we are. And we are because you are. Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> and um, um if if you if you foresaw it, mm. it will happen. Hmm. You, you get what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, my man. Next. But this one will happen. Yeah. If, that was the final if you one. So, foresaw it, <laughs> it can happen. Uh, <laughs> 
that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Dr. Damages at gmail.com. And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Now, this is my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book, This I Believe, hmm. by Wendell Berry. Hmm. And it says, The world is not given by our fathers, but borrowed from our children. Wow. Mm, deep, deep, deep. Until next wow. week, I am Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Woo! Uh -huh. So, what, wow. what is wrong with you again? You, you, need, you need oppression? Because I can do that and so you no up again. Doctor, no It's what, just what I've been feeling. Is it that boy in, in Russia? Is he giving me <laughs> <you> a problem? <laughs> that boy in Russia. Is I've that, been feeling it, that, a bit under the weather. Under the, so uh, I feel it's like not being measles, a patient it's today. Not it's not always that. This measles. Doctor, did this is you your language. Get, did you get this it? Did you get vaccine? Did you get vaccine? I'm a doctor. I'm concerned. This is your language that you are speaking. Ah.